because there's still a chance at some strong to severe storms across that part of North Texas with a hail threat, with a wind threat, and with an isolated tornado threat as well. That's why the tornado watch is out there until 10 o'clock this evening. At the moment, we have two severe thunderstorms, one in Eastland County, one moving into Bosque County right now. There's a tornado warning in Smith County out near Tyler, but there's that round of rain that we saw earlier today kind of across the northern half of North Texas, bringing some cooler air, rain-cooled air in the area, pushed the boundary farther to the south, so those areas south of that boundary have the best chance of severe weather the remainder of the day today and into tonight. Look at this storm near uh, Gorman to Eastland. Classic supercell out that way. Probably some pretty significant hail going on in that one. In fact, it looks like we just got a report of some baseball sized hail. Uh, I would assume south of Eastland uh, within the, in the city of Carbon. It looks like is uh, where that uh, that uh, report was from. It does not surprise me at all with all the purples that you see in that thunderstorm at the moment. That is definitely showing us that there's some significant hail happening at this storm. Let's pause it. We'll put a track on it here because I would not be surprised if this warning gets extended over into uh, portions of Erath County as it moves uh, uh, towards Stephenville eventually. So as far as arrival times here, Duster at uh, 435. Stephenville will be after 5 o'clock. That storm can hold together and arrive in your area. It'll be about 520. Uh, that that storm due to arrive there. We also have another severe thunderstorm moving out of Bos uh, excuse me, out of Hamilton County into northern Bosque County, kind of toward the Walnut Springs area at the moment. This one, another supercell, you can kind of see a little bit of a hook on it right now. It's had some rotation, but nothing tightening up enough at the moment to be immediately concerned uh, with a tornado threat with that one, but definitely has some strong winds and potentially up to some quarter, maybe even up to golf ball sized hail in that one. So we'll pause that one, put a track on it as well as it'll eventually move over into Hill County, especially northern Hill County, maybe toward the uh, Hillsboro area eventually as uh, we put a track on that one. Walnut Springs kind of due to arrive here in the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes or so. Uh, Rio Vista would be a little bit closer to uh, 520 if that storm can travel that far north. Rio Vista is in a uh, Southern Ellis County there, so or at Southern uh, Johnson County, excuse me, as that storm moves off to the northeast. We also have a couple thunderstorms to the northwest of DFW, north of Graham, north of Jacksboro, north of Bowie. That's along the actual cold front, so I can't sound the all clear for DFW seeing just no thunderstorms the remainder of the day today, but we're not going to see, like we originally thought, just that line of thunderstorms moving across DFW. Better chances for that to occur will be south of DFW, but I can't rule out a storm or two maybe working their way across DFW as that front moves in a little bit later on. If those storms are out there, low severe weather threat, but not completely zero, maybe a little bit of hail in those. But the definitely more widespread storms, the higher threat of severe weather south of DFW, there's 6 o'clock this evening, there's 7 o'clock storms across the Hillsboro to Corsicana to Mejia area. Everything will keep moving east and southeast as we head into late night hours and by 10 o'clock. Severe weather threat should be ending for North Texas. In fact, that's why that tornado watch expires at 10 o'clock. Everything moves off to the east, southeast overnight. Tonight, clouds around tomorrow morning. Maybe a spotty shower here or there. And a reminder, that tornado watch runs until 10 o'clock for everywhere south of DFW. In the meantime, it's been nice and cool. A little rainy earlier today in and around DFW. UNT and Denton sitting at 61 degrees. Dallas sitting at 60. Plenty of cloud cover overhead. Tomorrow, we have a high of 70. Then we quickly jump up to 80 on Friday, but then another front moves in, knocks us down to 66 on Saturday, but then quickly warming up for the uh, end of the weekend there. That front on Friday could bring our next round of thunderstorms. Thursday is dry. Friday morning is dry, but here comes that front. We get some storms forming across western North Texas. They move across the area Friday afternoon into Friday evening as that front moves in. There could be some lingering rain into Saturday as well, especially across the eastern half of North Texas, but that rain wouldn't be anything severe. It would just be some lingering showers mainly during the morning hours on Saturday. But right now, a one on a scale of five for most of DFW for a severe weather threat. Tarrant County to the south to the southwest on a two. That would be for hail and wind at this point. Severe threat will be ending tonight. Maybe a few lingering showers or storms early in the nighttime hours. And then tomorrow, breezy and cooler. Perhaps a spotty shower first thing in the day, but most of the day will be dry. Mostly cloudy skies throughout the day tomorrow. Then up to 80 on Friday. That other front moves in. 66 on Saturday, kind of a cloudy, breezy, and cool day, maybe a little rainy first thing in the morning. Sunday is sunny and dry, up to 77. And then that first week of May, actually looking fairly calm for May, May standards. Of course, you know, May is our rainiest month of the year here in North Texas, so that's actually a little abnormal that we're having, you know, not much rain through the uh, upcoming first week of May there. But, you know, maybe after the next few days and into that first part of the weekend, we can take a little bit of a break. Yeah, it'll be nice to take a breather. Thanks, Kyle.